There is in patients with colon cancer the question of maintenance therapy, especially of biological agents like bevacizumab, whether bevacizumab can and should be continued after progression of first-line um, chemotherapy treatment. The European group um, presented by um, Professor Dirk Arnold um, showed us that continuing Avastin, Bevacizumab, beyond progression after first-line chemotherapy is beneficial. This study included more than 800 um, patients. The primary endpoint here was overall survival and um, the secondary endpoints were progression-free survival and um, toxicity. Patients could have first-line chemotherapy based on physician's choice and had Forfiri or Folfox treatment and then subsequently, when they progressed, switched over to either Folfox or Forfiri as second line, but maintained um, Avastin therapy. This is really an important trial because it shows that biological um, treatment um, of Avastin in this setting is effective and should be given and it's really for the first time a randomized trial showing these um, data. There are other studies which are very important and I want to mention two studies especially um, of new targeted agent and one of my colleagues um, Dr. Johanna Bendel presented one of the um, new drugs, a drug, an AKT inhibitor um, with also other modalities affecting um, other proteins in the signaling pathways, um, treated patients um, with perifosin in combination, um, of cap in combination with capecitabine compared to capecitabine alone. And this is in, in patient who failed standard therapies, oxaliplatin or anotecan-based um, standard therapies. This study, unfortunately, was not positive. Um, the addition of perifosin to capecitabine didn't um, benefit patients in terms of overall survival and progression-free survival, very disappointingly. However, interestingly, and Dr. Bendel could show a subgroup analysis that patients who progressed on oxaliplatin-based regimens had a much better um, progression and overall survival um, benefit compared to patients who just stopped um, oxaliplatin-based regimens due to toxicities. So in this pre-planned subgroup analysis, um, there's a clear signal that there might be patients who um, will benefit from the addition of um, perifosin. Dr. Wendell um, summarized in, in her slides and um, the presentation that the biological and pharmacodynamic analysis needs to be done. So we're still waiting for this and hoping to hear um, final data later the year. Another study presented by um, Professor van Kutzem um, is a study in a similar setting, um, end-stage um, refractory colon cancer, um, patients who failed 5-FU, arnotecan, oxaliplatin-based therapies, including also Avastin or if they are wild-type KRAS um, cetuximab. Um, were randomized to receive either regorafenib, a multi-tyrosine kinase inhibitor, or placebo. Um, regorafenib um, was very um, beneficial to, to patients in terms of overall survival and progression-free survival. Um, the overall survival um, in was increased um, for patients receiving regorafenib by one and a half months progression-free survival was very limited um, by six um, days only, although this was um, statistically um, significant. So um, this is interestingly a, a new compound which we can use in the, in the um, treatment line where patients fail standard therapies. Um, the question is, um, and this was also discussed by, by the discussion in this session, um, the benefit um, in terms of survival um, has, was brought in by toxicities. Toxicities um, included um, fatigue, included rash, included um, several other um, toxicities um, for, for these patients. And the question here is an overall survival benefit of um, one and a half months sufficient to justify the buy-in with, with higher toxicities. 
And um, this leads back to the, the question um, of very early data of this compound in phase one um, about dosing schedules um, also about um, the um, dose level this drug um, was given um, to patients. So there is again, I, I believe, um, work to be done to, to fine tune um, these very positive results in terms of toxicity, tolerability for patients. Um, we are very excited about these results, especially in, in summary here now, the, the addition and continuous maintenance therapy of, of um, bevacizumab, a new drug, regorafenib, um, which will surely be get, uh, will be becoming um, um, FDA approval and unfortunately a negative trial, but again with um, clear subgroup indication um, that um, needs to be worked on.